Hello everyone, this is Farita here and welcome to another vlog of Ease. Today I am going to explore Mila Mila Falls, Paranella Park and Lake Berin. I paid somewhere around 11,000 rupees for this day trip and uh, as a solo woman traveler you obviously need to be safe and plus all these places are in the outskirts of caves which is easily two to three hours of drive one way and uh, if you are with guided tours they also take you to a lot of spots in between which i am going to walk you through where all they took us and what all they enlightened me about australia's flora and fauna and also the vicious ones so stay tuned. My day started at 7 in the morning where the tour operator came and picked me up from the hostel and the cost was included in the tour package itself. On the way I spotted a lot of luxurious tiny stores in and around Cairns. That is Mount Welsh where people climb this mountain just for fun. From a stop one at Heels Lookout we had a gorgeous view of Goldsboro Valley. Our next stop was at Volcanic Crater Lake Berin, which is UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was made out of a hole made by a volcano and slowly water started filling in there. We stopped here for a Devonshire breakfast and to taste a scone recipe which is ongoing for four generations in the family and the jam here is made from a local fruit called ure so the jam and scone together were a part of the breakfast and the cost of breakfast was also included in the package the entire setting was pretty rustic and from ancient times traditional views overlooking the lake and extremely breathtakingly beautiful needless to say they also had options for beverages ranging from tea coffee and hot chocolate but hot chocolate and scone became way too sweet for me so i would always recommend carrying some snacks with you when you are traveling abroad they also had this beautiful fire place and there were children also who were part of this family run business just look how clear these waters are you can go boating here as well if time permits and look at the fishes around because there's water and trees around ensure you carry a mosquito repellent with you and spray it on yourself while you are around these kind of marshy areas the older name of this place was the curry house but tourists thought of this as an Indian place and that's why they renamed it to Lake Barin House. Our next stop that we passed by is called Yungabara. First of all, I was so happy to hear uh, an Aboriginal name stored here of this town. This town in entire Queensland has the highest number of nationally listed heritage buildings. So of course this town was a sight to behold and it was a very unique and different kind of countryside setting that I was seeing it for the first time. You will definitely spot a lot of British food and architecture inspiration because of British colonization obviously. come here for camping and spending their weekend getaways here because obviously it's a beautiful beautiful town our next shop was curtain fig tree this fig tree is approximately 500 years old and is still standing strong our guide she explained us how this tree came into formation on one tree a seed got planted accidentally and its aerial roots strangled the tree and reached for the soil over a period of 500 years 
द ट्री ग्रो एंड बिकॉज ऑफ सम लाइटनिंग द होस्ट ट्री फेल डाउन देयर बाय द फिग्स स्ट्रैंड वर रूटेड डाउन बिलो इट इज रियली अ नेचर्स मावल एंड आई थिंक वेरी वन ऑफ द फ्यू रेयर साइट्स दैन कैन बी स्पॉटेड ओनली इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया दे हैव बोर्ड्स ऑल्सो ऑफ वेनिमिस mammals reptiles animals and plants as well just ensure you guys don't touch anything here is our guide explaining everything in detail and she instructed us not to touch this plant or else we'll be itching for entire week our next stop was uh, the historical rich town called malanda which has australia's oldest running brick pub yeah exactly it's a thing here so there's a pub it is humongous and it is entirely made of brick and it's the only a uh, brick pub oldest running in australia in a town called malada we had this beautiful backdrop where 60 year olds came and told me to click a picture here this is one of their vans a wooden hotel in australia and malanda is also home to australia's oldest running dairy factories as well as theater this is the australia's oldest theater here in queensland malanda near cairns Rolling hills, you know that the cows here are very happy and very fat. And the dairy factories. So this is the reason why I always choose guided tours, because if you are traveling alone, you tend to miss out these places. Our next stop was Mila Mila Falls, and uh, people here, Aboriginal people here, believe that the ancestors will protect you. from the insects and forests and evil things all around but in turn you have to protect the forest and its living things it's a beautiful place it was 15 degrees celsius and windy when i had traveled here and people were literally swimming here also this fall falls from a volcanic crater made 1 million years ago Here is the entire hi- Aboriginal history, along with its names, and how you need to just respect the nature. We stopped here for almost half an hour. There is a changing room here as well, in case you are brave enough to swim in that weather. Our next stop was for lunch, and uh, my guide had already instructed the. cook that there is an indian on board so ensure her vegetarian pizza is extremely spicy but surprisingly when it came it wasn't spicy and the host blew her minds when she heard that i wanted more chilies on the pizza but that's how our flavors are right the entire bnb was shut but it was open just for our uh, bus our next stop was a hidden waterfall that our guide took us to again majestic and you really have to be there to understand the vastness of this waterfall and these streams the water was gushing down and it was scary breathtakingly beautiful with these kind of views and fog and forest our last stop for the day was paranola park before we headed home to canes Paranola Park was made by a Spanish guy called Jose who had come to Australia looking for riches. It was a guided tour in included in the cost and this guy was way ahead of his time because in the early 1800s he introduced hydroelectricity, invented ice cream machine, created a huge park for recreation purpose for its uh, villagers. he married a spanish woman whom he got from spain to australia and uh, this area is spread across acres over the number of years 
people died and then mark and his wife purchased this property and have restored this in the memory of jose and surprisingly a few years later they bumped into an old woman 80 year old who was none other than jose's daughter so it was such a luck of coincidence and that is how all the stories have remained alive and are now being passed on from the guided tour to us definitely must visit place the tree here behind me is called kauri wood which is the best wood in australia for furniture and other purposes of course here is the staircase where unfortunately this entire palace was flooded twice but of course they rose back stronger every time there was an issue this was the table and chair setting for jose's guests incredible right like just look at the waterfalls and sipping your tea or having your food around with fishes swimming by and birds running around chirping around it was extremely beautiful he was also one of the people who initiated disco yes you can see the disco ball there and the entire stories are preserved in the museum jose was also one of the first people who introduced movies to queensland he ordered movie reels from the us and these guys across australia were the probably the only ones or the first ones to watch the movies as a recreational activity and a village activity together This is the machine that he imported from the US. And these are the movies of which reels also he had imported and the local villagers had fun watching these movies. There were some indigenous and foreign butterflies as well that were restored too. the newspaper clippings etc everything is stored well and it is time to say goodbye to kens my kens last video airport was empty you just need to reach here 2 hours prior even for your international flight i had a hot chocolate and picked up ready to eat food from woolsworth as my dinner and there are no dinner options at the airport so carry some My next stop was Bali. I had a direct flight of 5 hours. The social distancing messages were really beautiful here. And farewell Kens. You were really fun. I hope you guys have gotten all the information that you needed about this day trip. And uh, I booked my uh, this trip I think either on Get Your Guide or Vietor Travels. you can use those referral links from my description box below and with no cost to you guys um i will get some commission so if that works for you i would request you to please consider using the link and not only for australia or kens travel but you can use that link for uh, any trip in any part of the world so and let me know if you guys have any questions i'll be more than happy to help you out Don't forget to follow me on Instagram uh, and like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, uh, and like, share, and subscribe.